most people need to be pushed, right? Get some type of nudge to kind of be better. The really, really good football players, the really good people just in general in life, they don't necessarily need that push. Um, it's just something that they have inside them. They have their own internal uh, drive that they have. Um, and I think that part of it is the thing that that separates good football players from bad football players, or good football players from great football players. Okay, okay. It's, it's called like an it factor. So like, when you work it every day to be the best, your work is gonna show. But if you just working hard to, to your limits and not pushing through your limits, then the work not gonna be as effective. But um, football's about dominating the person across from you. I under pressure by uh, taking it to the chin, dealing with it up front. You know, when it comes to you, um, you deal with it. You, uh, you attack, you attack pressure, you fight pressure with pressure. When kids realize that there's no other option. Like they either have to do the drill or they're not getting to play the game. They, they either have to lift the weights or they don't get to go. So it's one of those things where it's your growth is you're not going to like doing everything you do in your life. Like your, every instance that you have, you're not going to like what you have to do, but you still have to do it. There's going to be days when you're not going to want to go to work, when you're not going to want to do some a certain thing. But I think football teaches you no matter what, you just got to find a way and you just gotta do it. And doing it is better than regretting not doing it and the failure that you might see. Everything in life has a consequence, whether it be negative or positive. It all depends on how you, in a sense, respond to whatever circumstance you're in. So I think with the weight room, accountability, um, you know, uh, being punctual, things like that, um, it really just gives these guys a, 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 a sense of uh, reality um, as far as what to expect when they get out in the real world and get real jobs and have to be at work on time, have to perform tasks at a certain deadline. And if they don't, they understand they either, you either get fired or you get promoted. So um, those kind of, kind of um, things we want to we demonstrate to these guys. Football, and it teaches you how to stay calm and teaches you how to take the highs with the highs and the lows with the lows um, and stay in the middle, stay at the middle ground. So uh, some situations that people can't handle and they get too flustered or they, they step out of themselves, um, I'm, I'm more calm in that area. I'm more calm in those areas and those spaces. It's just putting the work in, you know. If you outwork the next man, just put the hours in. Each day you're going to expand, you know. My biggest athlete that I look up the most to is Kobe Bryant. You know, looking at Kobe Bryant, hearing his videos of how he woke up at 4 a.m. in the morning time when people were asleep putting in work. You know, that's the type of stuff I want to do. When people are sleeping, I want to be the one putting in work. You know, whether it's guys that don't have father figures, um, you know, helping them, um, you know, find their way, I guess, in a sense. Uh, find their way through um, through the game of football to help them get where they need to get in life, whether um, whether that's discipline, whether that's um, falling down, getting back up. A lot of people just need somebody to kind of like believe in them and uh, to kind of believe in them and give them that extra to try to get what they're trying to get done. Hey, dogs on me, dogs on three. One, two, three, go. Oh, take those lessons into the workforce of just strapping it, strapping it up and going and working and putting in the work and pushing through pain, pushing through uncomfortable situations and being able to take criticism from coaches um, and then applying that criticism. I think coachable players become successful adults.
and they become successful men that can lead businesses, that can lead their families, that can lead whatever instance that they're in because of what they learn in football and the game and the people that they're around.